Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. Today we're doing Pulsar and Z Pool. So uh, my last video, if you saw that one, I did Zerg Pool and Pulsar. Uh, and we also installed the wallet. This one today, we are gonna be using um, Pulsar and Z Pool. So let's go ahead and click over here to Mining Pool Stats. And of course, any of the websites I use today, I'll have a link in the description below. And in here, you can see that Zerg Pool is dominating the, uh, the overall hash. Now remember, uh, Pulsar is 50% proof of uh, work and proof of stake. So it's a 50-50 split. So even though this is at 52.7%, it's really only like 26% of the overall. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. We're going to be doing Zerg Pool. All we're going to do is go ahead and click on it like that. Bring us up to their home screen. We're going to scroll down and start right in. So region, uh, we're in North America. The algorithm is going to be curve. Now, typically you would see it called curve hash. It's just called curve here. Now the zap, so your zap is going to be, um, if you want to, so if we were to mine with curve, uh, we could mine pulsar or curve, we could go either one. And if we leave it just the way it is with zap, uh, the way it's already set, it will mine either one of those two, whichever happens to be the most profitable at the time. So you're not really just truly mining pulsar uh, if you do that. So if you just want to do pulsar, you can put a check mark there and then you'll be straight doing pulsar uh you know for this one it doesn't really matter um we're being paid out in pulsar so it didn't matter really if we were mining uh, either one but if we want to be straight up and say pulsar is what we're doing we'll have it like that uh the currency we want to be paid out is in pulsar uh that one we know for sure so we'll go over here like that now we did install the wallet on the last one that I did with mining with the uh, Zerg pool. So if you're new to this, you just simply install the wallet. When it comes up, you will go to file and receiving address. This will be blank in here. You just click new and this will pop up. I name mine EM for Euclid mining. Okay. I uh, just go ahead and highlight it and copy. We can close that. And then we're going to put it right in here, just like that. And now we have all the information we need for right here. Now this, if we didn't use this option, our password would just be whatever currency we're being paid out in. But because we're just going to be mining Pulsar and being paid out in Pulsar, we'll do that. And then the zap equals PLSR uh, for that. And that's how that works. If you wanted to do, uh, let's say this algorithm had, you know, five different coins and you wanted to do one or two or three of them but not all five of them you know you can pick which ones you did want to mine um, and, uh, and and only mine them if you leave this blank you're letting the pool decide which is more profitable at that at that time and then choosing between it so that's probably the best option and let the pool decide which is most profitable um, and then just be paid out in the currency that you want rather than you deciding and let's say you only picked pulsar but for a little while during the day, Curve was actually the more profitable, uh, you would lose out on that extra profit. So, uh, but again, uh, for this example, we'll just do Pulsar straight up. And there it is right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring up our Wild Rig Miner. And of course I'll have a link in the description below to this as well. And um, uh, let's see, so I already have them set up right here. What I like to do is I like to go to the one that we're gonna be using, right click on it, and copy and then just right click over here and paste and now we have a copy of the original so if we go ahead and screw this up somehow and it doesn't work we always have an original to go back to uh, that's something that i've learned is i would suggest doing it anyway we're just going to go ahead and right click on this and edit and i will bring that over here like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and bring up the z pool and edit that one as well. And that's the one that I already have set up. And we'll just drop that over here. So you can see uh, the differences between them. So this is the default one that you'll start with. And we're only going to be editing this in here and leaving everything else the same. So right now we're gonna go right here and the stratum plus TCP and end it with the port number 4633. There's the stratum here and we'll be going through right to that point right there. So let's go ahead and highlight this. It doesn't look like I'm highlighting it, but I am. And then we hold control down and hit C for copy. And then we can bring these back up and we will go right here. And then hold control and V and that will paste. 
So there's our pool. Next thing we're going to do is our username, which is just our wallet address. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that like that. Control C. And as you see down here, I've got it here. And this is it right in this section right here. So Control V. And now our password. Now our password here is going to look different than the one below because before I was doing the multi uh, coin mining. So as you can see right here, uh, my password is Pulsar. Uh, and that was it because that's the currency I'm getting paid out in. For us over here, we're just going to go get rid of that X. And now we can see we want to be paid out in Pulsar, but where zap equals PLSR is mean we're only mining Pulsar. If we wanted to add on to that, we would do it here, but this means we're only going to be mining it, whereas here we're mining both Curve and Pulsar and making whatever is the best profitable uh, or mining the most profitable at that second. So that's how that's going to work. So anyway, uh, we can go ahead and close this and click save. This one we won't have to save. And there we are, y'all. We have it. All we do is go ahead and we can uh, have our wallet here and go to wallets. Now, mine's already in here. It'll ask you for your wallet. If it doesn't, you can just put your wallet right there and search for it, and it will bring it up right here. All right, so we're going to bring the Wild Rig Miner up. That's the copy that we just worked on. We're going to go ahead and start that up. Uh, we'll drag that over. And we can minimize that. And this will take just a little while to get started. Uh, but that's basically it. And now you're mining Pulsar on the curve. And you are only mining uh, Pulsar right now. So that would be a test to do for a 24-hour thing to just mine Pulsar and see what you get. And then do another 24-hour doing the uh, two of those combined and see if you were to earn any extra. Of course, uh, you know, you never know if you're going to have extremely great luck one day to the next. So it's tough to really see unless you do a full, I don't know, five or seven days to be to be really sure. So uh, we'll let that run. Uh, if we just come back over to the website, uh, you will see that it will eventually show back up. I was, uh, this is the last 24 hours that I did. Then I jump back on for a minute to look at something uh, and then um, I logged off. So this should just jump back up over here when this uh, sees that I am mining. Everything looks like it is uh, going strong. Yep, here it is. Everything's gone through. 18.97 18 kilohash. So the two cards are mining. Of course, again, these are the two worst cards in the world to use. This is a core intensive uh, coin and I am using two RX 488 gigabyte cards, which are better for memory, not core. So um, I'm just doing these because these are probably two of the worser cards that I have uh, out of the bunch. So I threw these over here just for fun. This is all speculative mining, not financial advice, just for fun. So anyway, I'll just come back over here and refresh this a couple times. It'll eventually show up. Um, it's not showing up just yet it'll pop up right over here. So if this video helped, go ahead and definitely give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you know, I got that button. It's right over there. If you want to check out any of my other videos. I'll have one for the Zerg pool where we uh, mined Pulsar and installed the Pulsar wallet. I'll have a link right up above that. I appreciate y'all checking in. I'll see y'all next time.